Hello my friends, welcome back. So tonight, I want to try something different. Um, I've seen one of the YouTubers do this. I don't remember which one. I want to say... I want to say Claire's Crafty. Claire's... Claire's Crafty is something. Anyway, Corner I think it is. I want to say it was her that did it, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, there's a couple that I think would have done it. It might have been Sherry Malton. Um, but I'm not real sure which ones it is. I'm just using some tape here to get any glitter out of the inside of my mold. So what I've got here are, they are clear stamps from Dollar Tree. And... If you pull the cover off of them, they look like they have black on them, but they don't. The black is actually on this paper. And they have texture to them. Like the wings and everything has texture to them. So what I want to try to do is they're kind of silicone-like when you pull them off. So what I want to do is I'm going to put them in the silicone mold here. Because they will it and kind of stay in place there just like so I put that little bird there there's a hummingbird here we're gonna put him in this one put him right in the center there there all right and then I think over here we're gonna do him do a little I guess he's a robin Maybe. And put him in the center there. And then we're going to put this little guy right here. And I'm going to push him down really, really good. Make sure there's no bubbles underneath. It's not going to matter because when we pull him out, hopefully, the chameleon powder that we dust him with is going to stay on and leave this imprint is my hopes. So I have four little not quite sure what this is. Is that a flower? Yeah I guess it's a flower. Okay so I have a flower, three flowers and a leaf. So this one here is fairly full. So we're gonna put maybe a small leaf right here. Uh, yeah we'll do a leaf right there. And then on these Move this guy over a little bit here. I don't want him touching the edge or nothing. Put a little hair on there. Come on. Okay. And then I think we'll put the flower right here. guy over just a hair and we're gonna put another flower right here beside him you can see when you push them down if there's any bubbles under them they kind of come out and it makes them stick pretty good to the mold and then this guy here we're gonna move him over this way, just a hair. We're going to push it down. Really, really good. And then we're going to put this flower right here. Like so. Alright. I have another bird. I have some letters. Should be able, hopefully, if this comes out like I'm hoping, be able to reuse these. Uh, I also have some, it says, beautiful, enjoy life, and have a nice day. If there had been four words, I probably would have done some sayings on them, but there's only three, and I'm doing four coasters. So, I'm going to take my mica powders, and I'm going to brush the birds. And I want to use, 
Okay, this one here is Claret. Claret? I don't know. See what colors we want to use here. Uh, maybe an emerald green. Uh, maybe a lavender. A rose red. A sky blue. And maybe a pink. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to use all these or not. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, what we're doing. So, I want to get a little brush out here. Alright. Because I want to be able to get some details on here. Got this little brush. I'm going to get a paper towel on here. And the best way to do the mica powders in between is to just brush it off because you don't want to wash it. So I'm going to start, I think we're going to start here with the rose red. And of course, it's not open. So we'll open it. It doesn't take much of my powder to fill these little gaps in, guys. And then, what I'm going to do after I do these mica powder is we're going to fill them with black resin. Because black resin makes mica powder just pop out like crazy. Taking the extra mica powder off of here, and I'm using it on part of this flower. I can't wait to see how these turn out. And what I'm going to do is to keep this from being a really, really long video because this is going to take me a minute to do this, is we're going to do just these couple right here and then I'll put you guys on pause and I'll do the other two off camera and then when we come back I'll have my resin mixed and we'll be ready to pour the resin so uh, I think we're gonna do some clean my brush now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna brush my brush on here several times and then you take your finger and you kind of flick it like so. So you keep the keep it get it off of there. Um, I think I'm done with this pink or this red. So I'm gonna put the lid on it for a minute. I might use it on one of the others, but this one's not open either. I apologize, guys. I thought I had these open. Some of them I have not used yet. Oh, that's a pretty color. All right. I'm going to use this purple in his little head here. And then, guys, there's going to be some of the mica powder seeps over onto the mold. I'm going to try to wipe as much of it as I can off. But there will still be some that will be on there. It's going to be inevitable that there will be a little bit. But, like I said, I'm going to try to get the majority of it off. I'm going to get the little flower here, purple. I think we'll do it purple and blue. I 
How's everyone doing tonight? I hope everyone's having a nice evening. I'm excited to do this. Like I said, I hope it works. I'm going to do a little bit of purple on the bottom of this tail here. We're gonna do his body in this purple here. And his wings in the blue. Of course you could actually if you wanted to do these whatever color the bird. I mean, this one looks like a hummingbird. You could actually do it in a color that a hummingbird's in if you want to. But I just want to do it in some pretty colors that I think are going to look good. And we'll go from there. Alright, one more color here guys, and then I want to put you guys on pause, and I will go in and finish the other two, and bring you back when it's done. So, I think we're going to do the sky blue here. They're so pretty. If these turn out, these are going to be really cute. If they turn out like I'm hoping. Because they, their wings and everything are very detailed on them. So if you see all the detail with the mica powder, it makes it kind of stand out. And we're going to do his tail feathers. I got a bunch of blue there. I don't show it right there. Let me get that. I'll get that up, like I said, with a baby wipe. Come through and all right, and then get a little bit of blue into his beak here, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of this blue and we're gonna put it on the flower next to us. And this one. Alright, so I'm going to put you guys on pause, and I will come back when I have the other two done, and my resin mixed up. Alright, I'm back guys, I got my resin mixed up. Uh, I mixed up just shy of 4 ounces, because uh, if I remember right, each one of these took just a little less than an ounce. Uh, if I have any left, I've got some other molds here I can pour. I have a bunch of molds, I'll pour something. Uh, but I don't think I will, I think it's going to probably just about fill it. So, I stirred my resin for five minutes. I added in a little bit of black alcohol ink, but it was making it, wasn't making it opaque enough, because I want it to be fairly opaque. And I used just a couple drops of uh, acrylic art ink. Uh, it works really, really well in my resin, and it's not as heavy as acrylic paint. So, uh, it gives me a very opaque, not, not going to be able to see through it. The only thing I want to be able to see is my mica powder. Uh, in the front, so just gonna give these guys a pour. I did wipe down, try to wipe up some of the excess mica powder, but it's really hard to do, and I'm not real 
worried about it. If a little bit of it ends up around the bird, I don't care. I'm not too concerned with it. And I might not have made enough resin. Guys, I may have to make some more resin. Yeah, I may not have made enough resin. I think I might need more. What did I get here? Eh. I don't think I'm going to have enough. I should have went ahead and made the whole four ounces. I figured it wouldn't be able to take it because... These inlays were going to be in a little bit. I was like, they won't take a whole ounce. Because that's right. They took right out an ounce the last time, each one. Trying to see if I can pull some from one of the others over here. I guess just cover these up. Because I don't need much. This one here is pretty full. Alright, I might do this one just over here. We're good. guys okay just gonna give these a quick torch that's ought to be plenty right there and uh, these cure in four hours if I'm still up in four hours we'll come out and demold if not it will be tomorrow We'll demold them then. So, bye for now, guys. I'll see you then. The next day. Hello, my friends. Well, I'm back. So, I was dying to demold them. And uh, normally I don't film till late at night. And I came out here earlier and I took one out. And I just wanted to see if I'm going to be able, number one, to get the inlay out, which I can. Where'd it go? Anyway, I pulled out the little flower inlay here. Can you see it? And now I'm going to pick out the little bird. I'm going to use this little kind of a dotting tool here. I'm going to just get up underneath him. And I'm going to pull him up. And if you see here, he's perfectly clean, so I can use him again. Which is perfect because I'm going to put him right back on here. Where I got him from. And he can be reused again in resin. And if you see here. The mica powder that I brushed stayed inside. It's not coming off of my finger. It is on the resin. So that one turned out really pretty. Let's see this one. This is the. Is he a hummingbird? No, he's not the hummingbird. I think the other one's the hummingbird. I'm going to pull out my little leaf here. 
And you could use these just like they are, or if I want to, I can give them a top coat of resin. Uh, I'm just going to put some of the feet on them and use them just like they are as coasters. Very pretty. My leaf. Turn on the light here, maybe that will help. Because these are black, so... There we go. See the leaf? Now, yeah, you can see these better. You can see where I brushed them with mica powder. Now we're going to take out our little bird here. Just want to get up underneath the wing. And like I said, these come out. They're clean. You can reuse them again and again. I don't know how many times you could reuse them, but they come out perfectly. This one did have a little bit more overage on it, overspill on it, but it just peels right off because it's very thin. And I will go through and kind of clean it up a little bit. Actually, that kind of did it right there. A little part right there by his beak. But yeah. Here he is. Here's the... So you can use these silicone molds, silicone stamps at Dollar Tree. Silicone stamps. Clear stamps. And you can use them in your resin as inlays. And the detail on it is actually really, really, really good. If you can see the bird's wings here. Very pretty. Now, like I said, I did get a little bit of the mica powder around. It's really, really hard to do mica powder without getting any of it at all. And here's our little hummingbird. I can't wait to see how he turned out. We'll get him out here. Let's get his wings. I think I have another one of these I'm going to try. I'm not sure. I want to say it's maybe butterflies. I don't know. I'll have to look. I know I have another one of these stamps that I bought. And now I'm going to be on the lookout for them. For more of them. And I think next time I might want to use some chameleon pigment in it. And see what that does. My chameleon pigments are so pretty. And you see here. These are so pretty guys. Turned out really, really good. And here's my last one. Last one is my little, I guess he's a robin maybe. I don't know. And again, he pulls right out. No issues. He does still have a little bit of pink on him, but I can use some. Um, I can use a little bit of alcohol and just lightly wipe it, or a baby wipe and lightly wipe the ink off. Very pretty. And then we're going to pop out our little flower here. And you can use other colors behind this, but these chameleon, these mica powders show up so much better with a dark background. You could do it like a dark blue or something, but dark backgrounds show up so much better. You can do white, but um, again, like I said, I tried to get off most of the excess if I could, but <coughs> mica powder, excuse me, I've got a cold. Uh, mica powder tends to, like, be attracted to silicone, so... Uh, but it's pretty. I think they turned out really beautiful. And I was just dying to demold them. I've got some little feet I'm going to put on them. And uh, I have a set of coasters. Very cute. And your drinks will still sit on them even though... Like I said, I may, I may go in and clear coat them with a top coat if I do. Um... Actually, I'm kind of liking them the way they are. I think I'm just going to leave them like this. Really like them. Very pretty. But yeah, so just wanted to show you guys. Appreciate y'all coming back watching here. Sticking around if you stayed this long. <coughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.